In this video, I'll give an overview of shell method versus this method, and I hope that this will help you when you have to decide which of the two methods to use. So when we're using the disk method, remember that we always integrate along the axis of rotation, whereas in the shell method, we integrate along a radius, that is to say, along a line that is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. So suppose we're going to integrate in x, where our function is in x and we want to stay in x, and we have a horizontal axis of rotation, well then we would use disk or washer method. But if the function is written in terms of x and we have a vertical axis of rotation, say the y-axis or something parallel to the y-axis, then we would use shell method. If we're going to integrate in terms of y if we're going to rewrite everything in terms of y and rotate around a vertical axis. And this is what we did earlier when we were at later stages of learning about the disk and shell method, disk and washer method. We use disk and washer method if we're integrating in y and rotating around the y axis or an axis parallel to the y axis. Now, in the very rare case where we would write the function in terms of y in order to rotate around a horizontal axis, we would use shell method. This is an extremely rare case, but if it does arise, you would use shell method.